2019 was a productive year for Minnesota United. Behind a core of seasoned veterans and talented rookies, the Loons christened their new stadium Allianz Field with the club's first MLS Cup playoff berth. But with departures of key players such as Vito Manone and Darwin Quintero, it's up to Adrian Heath to meld last year's core players with new acquisitions Tyler Miller and Luis Samaria to improve on their fourth place finish in the West. Will this squad take Minnesota United to the MLS Cup Final, or have the black and blue fallen further behind the likes of Atlanta and Seattle? This is the Minnesota United Career Mode. FIFA Faithful Bearhams here and welcome to the first episode of my Minnesota United career mode. I am so ecstatic for the MLS season to start. It's been a while and finally they are back as the Loons do take on Portland Timbers for the first game of the season. But before that, we got a career mode to play. Before we get into any gameplay, let's talk about the roster. The good news is, is that this roster has been updated as of February 25th. We have some of the new guys in, Tyler Miller, Raheem Edwards, Ja'Cory Hayes, not to mention James Musa. We have Luis Amaria, and I have brought in Noah Billingsley. Noah Billingsley was one of the draft picks this season. He's not actually in the game, but I did create him, so he is a part of the squad. And we even have Aya, who just came in a couple of weeks ago. For the first half of the season, I'm not going to do any transfers since this team is still pretty new to me, and I want to feel the team through before I make any big decisions. But here are some targets that might be taken in the summer or next season. One is Emmanuel Reynoso who is in real life currently at Boca Juniors, and there was some little transfer controversy since the Loons and Boca Juniors couldn't come up with a deal, so he stays in Argentina for now, and it's gonna be even more complicated in this game because he got loaned out to Brazilian side Goyas. So it's most likely you might not even see him in this career mode, but hopefully, maybe next year, we'll be able to get him. Second guy is Nicolas Benedetti. He was linked with the Loons a couple years ago when he was in Colombia, but they couldn't get a deal done, so he moved to Club America. He's a bit of a cult hero with Minnesota United, Benedetti Watch, if you guys remember that. Next guy is Thomas Fontaine, who is teammates on the Madagascar national team with Roman Matiner, and he might be a guy to sign for the future considering that some of our center backs are getting old and he is 27. So he's he's in about the prime of his career. So it might be a good signing for the future. And then the last one is Tyler Boyd. During the Gold Cup, he did play at Allianz Field and it sounded like the coaches were pretty thrilled with him, but he did sign with Besiktas during that transfer window. So it just wasn't meant to be. So for this career mode, we might be able to sign the American. As much as I want to sign big players from big leagues, I think the first couple of seasons of this save, I'm going to try to make it as realistic as possible if it gets to the point where we just can't win the MLS Cup then we'll bring in some big names maybe some Mario Balotelli's or someone of that ilk also if you have any ideas for signings just jot them down in the comments below owner Bill McGuire and the rest of the board have given us some objectives for the season and the seasons to come starting off youth development they want us to sign some defenders they also want to limit the age of the squad currently we are at a average age of 25.2 need to whittle that down to 23 in three seasons also they want us to sell out most of our games but we can do that no problem there they want to keep the salary growth under 30 percent that can be doable also when it comes to domestic success we'll have to reach the playoff quarterfinals and we'll have to get to the round of 16 of the u.s open cup i think that'll be pretty easy since the loons made it to the final last year for the first three games of the season they will be away from home and that is because Sadly, FIFA did not update the schedules as they did update the jerseys and the rosters. So unfortunately, we will be using last year's schedule for this season. And we will start off away in Vancouver against the Whitecaps. Then we'll travel to Avaya Stadium to take on San Jose. Then we'll finish it off at another real stadium against LA Galaxy. For the first game of the episode, I am going to give the new striker Luis Amaria a try as we do travel to the BC Play Stadium to take on Vancouver Whitecaps. Good interception already by Finley. So he might have a run from Amaria. Amaria is making it. Amaria with a chance. Does get past Cornelius. Still has the ball. Amaria with the shot, but a great save by the keeper. Will give us a corner. So already the loons are flying high here. Robin Lud 
will get the ball from Alonzo. There's a chance for a shot here. Oh, Amaria with a good chance, but an even better save by the keeper. He's made all of his saves so far. There's a good pass. Robin Lud with a curler, but it will go straight to Crepeau. Gasper not going to get that at all. I am not liking Chase Gasper's positioning so far as Rose, with all the acreage of space to himself, chance of possibly getting one in. He will cross one in. Roman Metaner thankfully gets there once again, saving the skin of the American international. As already the Vancouver Whitecaps fans are bored, already doing the wave, not even a quarter of an hour into this one. We'll find Lud. Robin Lud sees the run from Amaria. Amaria. Tries to get past, but he will get tripped down, and it will be a PK. Not the smartest move by the Whitecaps defender. Won't get a card for that one, but he might give up a goal. This looks like they want Alonzo, but I think we will give it to Amaria. Has 68 penalty, and I hope this is the first of many for the Paraguayan striker. As he sets it up, turns it, but it will be saved by Crepeau. Not a good start for his first game with the Loons. So got a couple minutes left. Another cross. Another simple play by Metnair, but it's not cleared out all the way as Ali Adnan does get it in. Good header by Box. So it's staying in, though. There's the chance. And they're going to get that one in. Just before halftime, Vancouver's first true chance. Wow. Was not expecting that at all. So just before the end of the half, we're down by one. How I delude. Led to Amaria. Amaria holding it. Amaria still with it. We'll find Molino. Kevin Molino. Chance for a shot now. Does take it. Shoots, fires, and scores. It's the hot boy himself. Kevin Molino putting that in the top right corner. So we have equalized just before the hour mark here at BC Play Stadium. Feel a little better now. But now we got to get that second goal. Who is going to be the hero in the first game of the season? Uh, they're looking to just go right for the throat here is Cavallini. Looking to get across and does get one in. It's going to find Reyna. And after our goal, they get the lead back. Toy sees the run from Molino. Kevin Molino still with a chance. Kevin Molino made with the second goal and he gets it. Hot boy times two. Kevin Molino, way to go. Way to equalize just before the 70th minute mark as he gets the pass from Mason Toy. We're back in it. Now in bum, we'll find T-Bear. Out to Dajome. Dajome with the cross. Can we do a better job on crosses? No, we can't. What the hell is going on here? Our back four has just been Swiss cheese all day. And I don't know if it's just Tyler Miller not being that responsive or just a poor heading defense by Chase Gasper. Just like that already. 3-2. Still a chance for them to maybe even get fours. There's a cross in the box. There's a shot. Good save by Miller. So here's our last stand. Grey Goosh. It's going to find Molino already on two goals today. Edwards sees a run from Gasper. Gasper will find Toy. Toy turns. It's going to find Finley. Ethan Finley trying to get a run through. Gets tripped up. No call. Get up, Finley. Get up. No. Ah, no. And I think that's going to do it as there is an interception by, Mal by Metinair, excuse me. And that will do it. Not the start we wanted for the Loons. First game of the season, dropping points against the Whitecaps, who honestly aren't that great to begin with. No offense to any Whitecaps fans out there, but this is not the way we wanted to start this save. Second game of the episode, we have made a couple changes. One, I've taken off Finley and Robin Lud for Chacon and Harrison. Also, Gasper is going to get a bit of a breather as we have Hassani Dotson playing left back. And we will keep Amaria up top. He did have an assist. And, of course, we're keeping Molino in since he got two goals last game. Well, there's a chance already for a cross, but that is a terrible one. So I will go into the netting. So we will take a look at how Kevin Molino did in the last game. Two goals again. That is very surprising to me, considering that I thought we were going to get goals from the strikers or maybe even the wingers. But, hey, I'll take any goal we can get. Amaria can't keep it, unfortunately, but... Oh, it's a free kick. Okay, outside the box. We do have a guy that can score these. It's in a good spot, too, Jan Gregoosh. There's a chance for him. Curls it. Oh, and he hits the post! Yeah, it's not wide to Lima. Lima. Trying to get that through to Espinosa. Espinosa with the cross. Will fall to Hosen. Hosen has a pass. There's a great save by Miller. He's really stepped up in this one. Last game, 
little bit of a questionable call, but here he's made some great saves. He's kept us in the game. For the second half, I have made two subs. One is Mason Toy for Luis Amaria, and the second is Robin Lud for Thomas Chacon. Robin Lud looking to keep it. We'll get that to Harrison. Harrison making the run. We'll get a good pass through to Grey Goosh. Grey Goosh sees a run from Molino. Kevin Molino is out, and he is free. Chance for a shot. Chance for a goal. Kevin Molino, hot boy, goal number three. Again, I would... I'm so surprised that this guy has three goals already on the season. I was expecting maybe Mason Toy or Luis Samaria, but it's our cam Kevin Molino with his third goal on the season. Good reception by Dotson as he'll find Boxel. Trying to move the ball around. Good play. Lud can't keep it though as Ewell gets the interception. Chance for the shot. Is he onside? Oh my God, unbelievable. Just like as soon as we score, we just give him away. Hosen with the goal. It's already tied again. Good play by Boxel. Will land to Lud. Robin Lud sees the run from Molino. Here's a chance now. Wait for the run by Mason Toy. Mason Toy is through. Will he corral the ball in time? Yes, he, I think he will. Yes. Taps it down. Takes the shot and he scores. A brilliant pass straight to Mason Toy. And that's why we brought him on. Mason Toy putting it past Vega. And we do have the 2-1 lead for now. Again, I'm not going to call it yet. Finley, just going to just hove it up, and that will most likely do it here. So that we'll find Vega, and we do get our first victory of the season. It was a nail-biter. We had to wait until the 85th minute when Mason Toy got the goal. Kevin Molino, once again, <laughs> he's our superstar for the moment. So we do get our first victory on the season. For the final game of the episode, we're giving Mason Toy the start as the Loons take on Chicharito and LA Galaxy. I feel if Mason Toy can score in the first half, I think the starting job is his. I, I don't want to be too harsh on Luis Amaria, but he just hasn't done much. Toy gets taken down, and that is going to be a foul by Dos Santos. Now it's another opportunity for Jan Gregush here. He had a close one last game, so maybe he can get this one in. Curls one. Oh, and it hits the post again. What do we have to do to get that free kick goal? As it will go past two. Here's a chance. Grey Goose with the curler. Oh, and it's in. Oh, what an absolute curl. Oh, wait. Did it take a deflection? It appears that Mason Toy is taking credit for the goal. We are going to have to take a look at this replay as Grey Goose. Getting the pass back from Molino. Does curl it, but it goes right off of the chest of Mason Toy. Mason Toy stealing a beautiful chance by the Slovakian international. Gets his second goal on the year, and we get the lead here in L.A. Or, excuse me, Carson. Maybe a chance here. Through ball, straight to Toy. Mason Toy, there we go. Second goal of the game for the American youngster. Buries that right past Bingham. 2-0. That's what I like to see. Oh, Dos Santos might get the ball taken away from Finley, which he does. Good job by the Duluth, Minnesota native. It's now Finley. Finds Molino. Now Toy has Finley. Now Finley doesn't have the pace that he used to, but he's still going for it. Right past Gonzalez. Still a chance here. Does get a cross in. Looking for Ozzy Alonso. And that will be goal number three. We are really putting it to him today. So it is Alonso getting his first goal of the season. The Cuban captain able to bury home the Finley cross. We're most likely going to win this one. Going to storm down. Sees a run from Chacon. Chacon is through. Is he onside? I think he is. Tomas Chacon, the youngster from Uruguay, does. Yes, he does get his first goal. Tomas Chacon, who is supposed to be the future of the black and blue, able to put it right past Bingham. And, yeah, we are just killing the galaxy. So we'll be pushed to Insua. Sua will find Pavone, and that will do it for this game. What a way to end it. Four goals by the Loons, two by Toy, one by Ozzy Alonso, and one by Tomas Chacon. As Adrian Heath shaking hands with Shaletto. I, I don't think I pronounced that right, but I try my best. As we do, head back to Minnesota with the 4-0 victory. To finish off the episode, we will take a look at the table, and currently we are in a favorable spot in third, just behind the Whitecaps, who haven't lost a game, and the Sounders, who haven't lost a game. So, considering that we did do a bad job against the Whitecaps, we're doing fine. 
honestly, like we're doing better than LAFC. We're doing better than the Timbers right where we want to be. Before I go, I would like to elaborate on how this save will unfold. Episodes will be aired once a week during the season and they will be aired on game days. So that's why today, March 1st, that's why we did upload this one. Next one will be, I believe the 8th, if I'm not mistaken, and then we'll just continue on the game days there. I will put the schedule in the description below. And other than that, that's all I got. So yes, it is time to end. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I did playing it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. This has been Bear Hams, and as always, toodaloo.